And beyond political shenanigans or vendetta or whatever, do you believe any criminal laws may have been violated? You cannot close down the busiest bridge in the world for political retribution. It's not something that's possible. You have intentionally put people in harm's way. You knew that before you did it. You knew that when Fort Lee called 20, 30, 40 times. You knew that when I kept sending text after text and calling cell phone after cell phone. You always knew that because we were telling you that that was happening. To now, to shut that bridge down and to put my folks in absolute danger, uh, I think it's more than civil. Let me answer the question that way. Criminal, you believe it's that, more than civil. Well, as far as you know, is there a criminal investigation underway by any local or state or federal authority? I know that the independent investigator for the Port Authority is conducting an investigation. I know that the Assembly is conducting an investigation. And uh, I have to believe that now, in light of what's transpired over the last 24 hours, and now seeing these re revelations in these emails, now that it's unconditionally confirmed that there's a level of intentionality that's involved, I got to believe that there's going to be uh, investigations to determine whether this rises to the level of criminality. And I tell you, I'm not rooting for it. I'm not looking for people to suffer a demise by way of a criminal indictment. I want Fort Lee left alone. I want to guarantee this doesn't happen. You go do whatever you got to go do. And I got to tell you, for form has to be put into place to make sure that this doesn't happen to any other host community. This is absolutely the lowest level of political venom that you could possibly even make up. It's a surreal experience at this point. I really got to tell you, I can't believe it. I since, still can't believe it. I have to continue to read the emails. Since interstate and commerce... And I'm Croatian, by the way, Wolf. Yeah, interstate commerce was affected uh, between New Jersey and New York across the George Washington Bridge. Do you believe the federal government should investigate? I do. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's, it's, it, 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 there are millions of cars that traverse that bridge. There has to be an investigation. Um, it is that important. It is that important. There's actually a letter over my right shoulder from the governor's office congratulating us on doing a great job as host community for the George Washington Bridge. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I guess we didn't do that good enough of a job. As you know, and you're a politician, one of the reasons there's so much interest nationally in this, because Chris Christie, the popular governor of your home state of New Jersey, just re-elected in a landslide. He's considered a likely presidential candidate, uh, someone who might run for the Republican presidential nomination in 2016. What, from your perspective, and we know you're a Democrat, from your perspective, what is this, what is the impact of what is just coming out now have on his potential run for the White House? Well, I think it, it, it can't be positive. It's got to be negative. Um, you know, the, 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 w w there are different dimensions here. Is, are you, if you didn't know, you allowed folks to be put into positions that are, that, who are completely reckless and venomous and put a lot of people in harm's way. So you'd have to question the judgment of those decisions, number one. Number two, what impact it would have? I don't think I'm smart enough to reach that conclusion, and I don't want to speculate about it. It can't be good. It certainly can't be good. Um, but I think that it's something that I'm sure the governor wants to go away more than I even want it to go away. My problem is when it goes away, what happens to my community? That's my problem. And I said it since day one, because I am very, very fearful of ramifications in the future, quite frankly. What can he do to fix this? Well, I'll tell you, what can he do? Again, uh, you got to reach out to the folks that were impacted. Don't reach out to me. It's, don't reach out to me. If you haven't reached out over the last four months, don't reach out now. Um, but I think he has to publicly address the folks that are specifically uh, impacted by this. I think apologies need to be doled out. And I think reforms have to be put into place to make sure that this never, ever happens again, number one. And number two, there's got to be a commitment that the people that you put in these positions that have immense authority immense authority over multi-billion dollar budgets and the control of hundreds of thousands and millions of people's daily lives, they have to have the requisite education, they have to have the requisite experience, the requisite training, because the job is that important. The job is that important. You want to repay a favor and put some political appointee somewhere? Do it. There's a million other positions to put them, but not in these positions. So, you know, I, I think uh, 
just the judgment of doing that is of, is of great concern to me. And I tell you, I've been supportive of the governor on some of the fronts and some of the programs he's implemented. That's why this is even that much more mind-boggling to me. Mayor, uh, thanks very much for joining us. I know this has been a difficult uh, period uh, for you, for your community, all the neighboring communities in New Jersey as well. We appreciate your joining us, and we'll continue this conversation. Thank you, Wolf.